really convenient feature of Banner Student Self-Service is the Plan Ahead feature. Prior to registration, you're able to create a plan of courses you'd like to take. And once your registration appointment window opens up, you're automatically able to add those courses to your schedule. So after you've chosen what courses you want to take for an upcoming semester and you met your faculty advisor, you can make your plan. Log into Banner Student Self-Service, select Student Profile, and on the lower left-hand side, select Registration and Planning. Then select Plan Ahead. It'll prompt you to choose the semester in which you're trying to make your plan. In this case, it's Spring 2026. Select Create a New Plan. Now I've already looked at the course schedule. I know what courses I want to take. I've discussed it with my faculty advisor. I've looked at my degree works evaluation, and maybe I've looked in the academic catalog at a sample plan of study for my major or a major I'm interested in, and I'm ready to go. The first course I want to add to my plan is Accounting 101. So I enter this information into the search fields and select Search. Then I select View Sections, and I find the section that I want to take. In this case, I'd like to take Section 1, which meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9.30 to 10.45. I select Add, and it's added to my, for the moment, untitled plan. I go back to my catalog search results. I select Search again, and I put in the next course that I'd like to take this spring. And in this case, is Statistics 180. I enter this information into the fields. I select Search. I select View Sections. And I find the section I want to take. This course has an online section that meets in the first eight weeks of the semester, so I'm going to add that to my schedule. It's added to my plan, and I continue the process. The next course I want to take is Psych 100. So I add that information to the appropriate fields. And you're probably getting the hang of this. Let's keep going. For Psych 100, I'm going to select the Monday, Wednesday, Friday 10 to 10.50 course, Section 1. I add that to my schedule. It's added down there, and I go back to my search results. And the next course I want to take is Communication 205, Public Speaking. And during my planning process, I realize that it conveniently has a Monday evening class works for me this spring, so I add that to my plan. And I also want to show you what would happen if you added a class to your plan that maybe had some type of restriction on it, like it was a closed class or a prerequisite restriction, and it wouldn't allow you to register. Let's see what happens. So Historic Preservation 105 has one section in the spring that is already full. But what would happen if I added it to my plan? I select Add. These are the five courses I want to take. I'm ready to save my plan. Then it will prompt you to name your plan. Name it something creative like Spring 2026 Plan and save. Save successful and now you're ready to go when your registration window opens up. At that time, go back to Student Self Service. Go to the registration page. Let's see how it works. Select register for classes. Look for the proper semester you plan to register for, in this case, spring 2026. And then look for the tab that says plans. Double check your plan and make sure that these are the courses you wish to take. If it looks good, select add all on the upper right hand side. Notice right now, the status is pending for all these courses. Let's see what happens when we hit Submit. OK, well, we have a successful save, but it is telling us that that historic preservation class is closed. And that's fine. Let's take a look at what happened. We got into Accounting 101, Statistics 180, Psych 100, Communication 205, but as we expected, Historic Preservation Section 01 is full. On the left-hand side, you can actually go look at what your schedule will now look like. There are all my courses along with that Monday evening course. 
And you can go back in and add another course since Historic Preservation 105 is full, just like you would normally add or drop any types of courses. But otherwise, that's all there is to it.